Diba? Sequel to Spaghetti Pababa. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to the Filipino Free Thinkers podcast. That's also a video. I'm Red. I'm Peter. I'm Frank. And this episode is going to be our best one yet. We're going to talk about what you don't know about the Vong Navarro issue and it will change your life forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> Trust us. We, we know who's guilty. You don't need to wait for whatever trial or investigation. We're going to tell you who's guilty, who's at fault, who's the good guy, who's yeah. the bad guy. It's very simple. Yeah, what your opinion should be, this is really good. We'll tell you at, conversations. at the end of the podcast, all of these details. <laughs> but first, we're going to talk about more important things. And that is the, the reactions that people have had to this issue. And let, let's, yeah, let's run through them. So when I first heard about this issue, like I, I thought, okay... Seems like he got beat up and it's a simple, he's going to file some criminal charges against the people who did that to him. And then the angle came out, like, you know, the plot thickened and yeah. there was the rape angle. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, there's been accusations. From, accusations of rape. Of the accusations of rape, accusations of faking the accusations of rape. And immediately it took on a dimension that, that really transcended whatever celebrity issue um, was at stake here. It became an issue about rape and uh, and women's rights and feminism. And and to me, that that made the issue more important than than it was at the surface. So people could have spoken about that. Mm -hmm. And the the way the people have commented on this issue, especially on those popular websites, uh, like prove this fact. Like they were accusing the the woman um, Den Denise Denise Deni Denise 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 Denise, Denise. 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 Uh, extortion mm -hmm. of you know crying mm -hmm. rape you mm -hmm. know lying about yeah. about rape there some some even border on slut shaming others actually slut shaming rape shaming, shaming you know rape shaming uh, blaming the victim they were all rape experts apparently mm -hmm. they know how a rape victim is supposed to react mm -hmm. and Denise wasn't these things mm -hmm. uh, I'm not personally I'm not really in, invested in this Von Navarro case what what really gets me to react is people's reactions to the case and and um, on one hand people are saying uh, like falling on one side or the other on another hand people are saying that there are more important things to talk about yeah there's like an eight list I think of eight things that are more important <laughs> than the, Von the viral case supposedly what I wanted to see are like eight ways to not respond to a an alleged rape for example mm -hmm. so there are so many ways people should not react to a certain way one of them is like uh bringing up how she looked before so mm. like uh she apparently had had work surgery. done surgery and uh, cosmetic surgery and people were bringing that up as if it had any weight on mm. the rape charges so mm. there's so many ways I think people should not have reacted and I've seen all of those ways on my Facebook feed, which is a sad thing to see. So, so let's talk about one thing that you mentioned, like, like that eight list of so many or eight important things that are more, more important, more than, important the than, than the Vong Navarro case. So is there, you know, is there weight in that argument? Like should people really not react to the Vong Navarro case and instead react to other more important issues like the Bang Samoro issue or the, the Yolanda issue I think there or are, the Henaire issue. Yeah, there are things that are worth talking about more than other things. Mm -hmm. But there are, there's an angle to the Von Navarro case that is worth talking about. Definitely, like like yeah. I said, the how to handle rape accusations. When is a, a, a what's this called, a false accusation of rape? Um, when, is it, when does it hold weight or whatever? But uh, the things in that list are not necessarily more important and you can't really say that just because there's something more important that instantly means that you can't talk about something that's less important. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the fallacy of, yeah. of something. That people can't multitask. Yeah, that, people can't you know. multitask. So, so I don't agree that those eight things or anything is necessarily more important and you shouldn't talk about the viral case. It's just that when you talk about something, you talk about 
the more important things about that something and not the celebrity things. So there are things that you handle because they're entertainment. You don't run automatically to the defense of someone or go against him because of their celebrity status, for example. So if you're going to talk about the coronavirus case, there is a way to talk about it um, responsibly and intelligently. Mm. Yeah, this, uh, this issue actually reminds me of what happened during the, the Yolanda. You know, when Yolanda struck, a lot of people were saying, you shouldn't post selfies. Uh, yeah. So now it's, you shouldn't talk about Vong Navarro. Uh, on that issue of not posting selfies, is it okay to post selfies now? Is it already? I think that the announcement was made by the, the Facebook pedants. It's finally okay, guys, officially. Uh, yeah. they, the, 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 time, the, the time has lapsed already, and it's finally okay. Yeah, like, I saw the billboards. <laughs> it's also okay to criticize the government now. It's like a, a large billboard that says, Okay na guys. <laughs> okay na, yeah, yeah. We, we can criticize Pinoy now, yeah. actually. A green and light post, for selfies. And post selfies mm -hmm. at the same criticism. time. Like you can hold criticism, mm -hmm. a criticism selfie of the government. It's actually fine now. So see, see, do you see the absurdity mm -hmm. in people kind of trying to determine for someone else mm -hmm. what should be important mm -hmm. to them? And how do you even know that? Like whenever someone posts something about Vong Navarro, no matter how shallow his take on it is, of course it would be nice, if he did take that, you know, that more noble way of talking about about the Vong the, the incident, but he could, you know, he could speculate on, you know, he could be an amateur Sherlock, and there's, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. He, he's free to do just that if that's what he feels like, you know. But do people who criticize this person, did they go to this person's newsfeed and check there if there were posts about Bangsamoro mm -hmm. or those other seven things that are more important? to talk about you know do you know or is there a prescribed number of posts that you can make before you post another wrong navarro post so bang samoro bang samoro wrong bang samoro bang samoro yolanda wrong like is there a particular equation for this i don't think well, oh, you, yeah he's a science guy <laughs> science <laughs> is there a formula for this according to the pichir formula <laughs> yeah well, what is the formula pichir guys this is the formula <laughs> there is no, well, there's no formula, and the problem with the pedants who, who well, who give us these eight things that we should. We have nothing against eight list, by the way. It's a <laughs> yeah. general sentiment of, you know, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. It's a general sentiment of the people who are trying to stop others from talking about this one issue. The the good advantage of this one issue, see, is that although there are a lot of really stupid, shallow, superficial things that you can say about it, and a lot of people actually do say those superficial things about it, and the opinions are not very deep. It's an issue that a lot of people seem to be invested in for some reason, and a lot of people are emotionally hmm. attached to the issue. And you see that the slut shamers, for example, those who call out Denise for her looks, mm. comparing it to her previous looks. These people seem to have something from deep inside. And it's good that we can talk about these things in an intelligent light, in mm. the way prescribed by, by, Frank. by Frank. Because people will listen to you. Mm. So it's really, in fact, a good opportunity to talk about a lot of issues that otherwise would not be discussed and people would not have an interest in. And in addition to that, you already mentioned that it, it was an opportunity to serve as that jumping off point mm. to get into more relevant mm. discussions that are you know, deeper and more serious than, the, than what it is on its, uh, on its face. But other than that, isn't issues like, like this, like aren't issues like this important in the sense that it gets people to jump on this bandwagon of, of telling other people what are important? Uh, you know, you know, whenever whenever an, a celebrity issue comes up that becomes popular, a lot mm -hmm. of people who who aren't as as aware or who who don't seem to care as much about important issues suddenly say, <laughs> "Let's talk about more important issues, guys." And what what other important? Oh yeah, okay, the this one, this Bangsamoro, uh, and and it does bring more mm, attention to these other issues. I so see. indirectly. It kind of emphasizes mm. in, a, in an indirect way. So basically because of the bandwagon. It's a bandwagon. There are people 
yeah. who who want to be cool and want to separate themselves from those who jump into the bandwagon yeah. by jumping into a counter bandwagon. It's a different bandwagon. It's a different it's, bandwagon. It's a, it's a hipster kind of yes. contrarian bandwagon, bandwagon you know? of people who feel superior from everyone else because everyone else yeah. seems to be talking about Vong Navarro. But, and everyone else seems to be posting on Facebook about yeah. Vong Navarro. So I'm going to post on Facebook about everything but Vong Navarro and gonna criticize those people who are posting about but, but this issue. what we're doing here is definitely not a bandwagon. Like we're not jumping on the don't say that the Vong Navarro issue is shallow mm. and less serious than other mm. issues. It's not a bandwagon. Unless somebody joins, you're welcome to join. <laughs> but, but it's cool. Like so many bandwagons and mm. but ultimately is it is it a good thing? Like the, yeah, I think I think things like this. Um, I I will I will generalize this to because I really don't care about the celebrity status of this thing. Um, I think stupid things have a value in that they they open up. There's a, there's a potential for a meta discussion, which is what we're doing now. We're discussing how people are discussing this topic, hmm. and that's the good part of it of of this of this celebrity scandals things because. When people talk about how how badly people are reacting to this, or what the bad points people are making, things like uh, jumping right behind the celebrity and saying he couldn't have done that, he couldn't have raped someone because this is a good guy. And I understand Vong Navarro is a very likable person uh, on screen. Yeah. So this this event has a potential of being greater than it is. But so far, what I've been seeing is only the discussion of it with limited information. With before even. And the, the official investigations concluded. People are already, already making their their conclusions. Mm -hmm. So the meta discussion is more important than the discussion itself. A lot of people are raising what should be discussed instead, and it has values. People put links to other rape cases, for example, uh, rape accusations where the where the accused are very likable. For example, there's a parallel to a U.S. case where some football players were mm -hmm. accused of rape. So. Um, that is important. That's wh what people should be discussing, I think. And this case might offer a chance to do that, but right now I haven't seen a lot of people actually discussing the bigger picture. But what Red was saying was that um, stupid things like this have their value because if a lot of people talk about it all of a sudden, then there would be a subsection of society that would call out those people and say, hey, you shouldn't <laughs> be talking about that. We should be talking about this. And if you actually look at those eight things that they listed, and those are just eight of the so many things yeah. that we should be talking about. And they're indeed, in my opinion, things that are more important than, than the Bong Navarro issue. And I guess there is some value. Hmm. I'm guessing that there is some value to these shallow things that because they are shallow and because they're celebrity things, then there's the opportunity to say, hey, there are things that are more important. And you know what? Like for every single one of those eight things, mm. another article could that be written. You know, That's more important than those things. That are more important more than, than, than those what, things. You than know, each one of one, those things. And you know, when you write and that article, mm. you know, yeah, indefinitely. It could be, be meta Like, you know, why, why write those articles there, when you should be caring about There will always things. be Africa. Uh -huh. Africa yeah. will always be there. You, you think mm. this thing that you care about is so important? Mm. Africa, mm. climate change, climate change. Climate change. You know, there there will always be mm. these uh, these things, and of course, you know, we want people to care about the things that we think mm. are important. But there's just something so self righteous, I think, and arrogant about people thinking that it's their thing, what mm. they think is important, mm. like should be the important thing. Mm. You know, and and people have different definitions of what's important. Like let's say elections, right? That's, that's definitely something that these people would think is more important than a celebrity scandal of this level. Like, let's say there's election, another right. similar issue that happens like in, in the next elections. People will say people should be talking about the elections. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't think the elections are important because, move closer here, our director is saying, <laughs> because they don't think it will affect their lives as much. It has no practical application to mm. them. Unlike Vong Navarro. And yeah, well, Vong Navarro at least entertains them. You know, it's something that they care about. And should people care about something that they don't already care about? The, the best that people can do really is make the case for it. You know, okay, 
it's not as important. Bang Samoro is more important. Why? Explain. Sell, sell, you know, make, make a case mm. for it. Don't just say out of nowhere, these things are more important. You are stupid for thinking that it is not. Mm. You know, that's the, you know, it's so easy to, to say that these things are more important. Yes, and it's also a lack of empathy on the part of these people who call out on others. Now, you're shallow because you, yeah. you're riled up because of this issue. Yeah. You should empathize with those people. You should at least try to think the way they think yeah. and try to come up to them and say, hey, I think uh, that what you're caring about is not as important as these other issues. These are the issues that we should care about. There. And the thing is, they don't actually do this all the time. Yeah. Because Bong Navarro issues and other celebrity issues come up only every so often. But there are many, many things that happen every day hmm. that are actually deeply disturbing to anyone who thinks deeply about them. Like so many animals get killed for, are treated inhumanely. There are so many people who die of hunger. Like you mentioned Africa, even here in the Philippines, there are some people yeah. who suffer that. And these things happen every day. And the people who, the victims of Typhoon Yolanda, a lot of them haven't yet recovered from the tragedy. Hmm. And the, these people who are self-righteous in calling out others for being shallow, actually don't, don't remind us every day that we should talk about all these other things. It seems that they just grab the opportunity to feel good about themselves, they use this Vong Navarro issue. Yeah, and in that sense, I guess, there is a little bit of value in the Vong Navarro issue because of that. Because there are some people who, because they want to feel righteous or better than others, in fact, uh, contribute to yeah. the conversation by bringing to the table other things that we should be talking about. So when something, whenever something becomes viral, you know, check first, uh, like on this list of important things, whether it is uh, more important than this, or is it a Disney musical? So if it is, then you can post it. If it's Frozen, it's fine. You won't be called out for yeah, posting even if about it's this. 52 languages. If, if it's Wicked, it's also fine. Yeah, it, it should be a musical. And, uh, and then you can, you can post it, of course. <laughs> that, but another thing that I, but I want to point out, Sure, this became an effect that it turns out that a lot of the people in the Philippines are more concerned about Vong Navarro than so many other things that are important in the country and globally, right? Mm -hmm. But that happened on a mass scale. Like people didn't really intend, like there's no, there's no population mass consciousness that, mm -hmm. that decided. Mm -hmm. And it seems that what people are condemning is what happened on a mass scale. Like, you can't really blame that, that, you know, it just tended to happen like that. Mm -hmm. But when you take your anger out on individuals who are very varied, you know, and you generalize your hate onto that, that's very wrong. That's, that's really treating people as statistics mm -hmm. and, and not, as not, you know, people, individuals, not individuals. Indiv indiv individuals who deserve more nuanced arguments and explanations of why something should be important. Mm -hmm. I think um, one thing a lot of people, the people who criticize people who talk about Vong Navarro, one thing they're forgetting is that, or they're making a mistake, is they're assuming that the Vong Navarro case is being treated, <laughs> they're assuming that the Vong Navarro case is being treated as if it's news, as if they're talking about something that's ranked according to importance, when it's actually not. I think the Vong Navarro case is getting as much publicity as it's getting because it's actually being treated as entertainment. It is mm. just something that they are invested in like they would invest in a story of a telenovela. Mm. So it's just entertainment and of course because, and it, it's real, so it's, it's like a reality show. Mm. So people are following it as if they're following entertainment and not news. If it were, if we, we could argue that there is more important news if we were talking about news, but we're actually talking about something that's entertaining people, which is why they're spending so much time and so much attention on it. So, so let's look at it from another angle there. I'm glad that you said that. Like, okay, it's, um, I, I think we've said enough how, what, why it could be wrong to blame individuals for the way they reacted to this or reacted to the reactions to this or reacted to the reactions to the reactions mm, to this. To reactions. But let's talk about what the media, what the media's responsibility on this uh, should be, you know, because um, they have more control over this, over what they release, over how much time or, you know, what, what kind of proportion they give of the time that they 
you know, like especially on the on the nighttime news, you know, they, you yeah. have an R, like how much of that would you want to allocate? And unfortunately, we are out of time, but we have a meetup on Saturday, uh, February 1, which is incidentally also our fifth anniversary meetup. So uh, we hope that you attend that because that's also when we will share with you the the, the life-changing life forever details of the case like no trial or investigation has to happen we have we have several sherlocks mm. in our we'll group just use deduction yeah and, and using our our science, <laughs> science we will science the the verdict so so thank you for watching and see you next time